Hey y'all, Jim Panky here with a bluegrass classic, Lonesome Pine. This song comes up just about every time at any bluegrass festival, parking lot, picking jam session. This thing is one that's going to happen and somebody's going to look at you and say, hey, kick off Lonesome Pine. So, or, or maybe you're just going to need a break. Somebody else might kick it off, but it's coming around to you and you're gonna, you're gonna need a break. And so I've got you one. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. You are gonna experience a couple of very Jim Panky kind of licks, things that I do kind of natural that I'm hoping that you might be able to put to good use. Uh, but it's not for the faint of heart. It's got some new ideas. And with that said, we're gonna figure this out. But first, if you like this sort of thing, if you're learning the banjo, feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. Maybe hit a like button. You know, maybe ring that bell. So uh, that would be awesome. All right. The kickoff is really simple. It, it, it starts with an open pinch on the first and third string, and then right to the four, four, three, Two. So counting would be one, and two, three, four is your count. And then we're going to do, you can do a hammer there, or you can do a slide. I think maybe I do a slide sometimes. I do a hammer sometimes, but we'll slide just because. And we're going to pinch one and two and slide. And, and then... And then it's just going to be a forward roll. We're going to leave that down. So it's going to be five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, five. So that's a roll and a half. And then one, one. So it's the first string at the second fret open. So that sounds like from the kickoff. Now we're going to learn a Jim Panky lick. I'm sure other people do this, but this is something that I do that's fairly common in my playing. So let's look at this. So it starts with a pull off on the second string. And then I move my index finger over here. Now you would think, well, why don't we do this and this? Well, I'm kind of lazy. And I look for ways of doing things that make sense to my hand. But it's totally up to you how you want to try to tackle this. But here's how I do it. So I do a pull off on the second string, move my index finger down to the third string, second fret. And then I'm going to hammer from three to four on the fourth string. So that sounds like. See, I move, I move my index so I can get into that position that we've used before. You could do it with your little finger. But that's awkward for me. But if that works for you, totally cool. You can do it that way. And then it's just a four, pinch, and then a slide with a forward roll. Then it goes to a C chord, but I like to slide up to the fifth fret position. Just, it, it adds some variation and it goes somewhere. Nobody's expecting it. That's the reason I like to do it. Nobody's expecting me to go there. So here's where we're going to go. And it's all quarter notes with the exception of that slide, which is quarter notes picked. So slide from three to five on the second string. Five, one, two. That's all it is. So let me show you what that sounds like. And then one open, hammer, five, two, one, five. You've moved back to the first fret. And then a G lick, three pinch. Now we're gonna third string open. And third string at the first fret, we're walking into an A minor chord. 
And the roll that I use is also a little different. It's bouncy, it's syncopated, it's not a forward and reverse. It's something that adds a little adds a little flavor. So you ready? Here we go. So we're gonna walk up to that. So it's three, one, three, two. slide that up and you can hit that first note as a slide or you can just go right up to four I like to slide it and it's the same pattern or you can end just on that third string if that makes you more comfortable totally up to you because the next thing coming is a melodic lick and it, it's brand new for you maybe I don't know brand new I don't think I've taught it before so let's do that. Let's do that minor progression. So we're going up to A minor. B minor. And here's our melodic lick. I will play it and I'll walk you through it. time a little slower so it starts on the third string fifth fret so three one and we're going to move over to the shape you've done that before <laughs> we did that in banjo in the hollow so so three one two one five Pick that up. Two, one, three. Two, one, three, two. And then we need that shape. Four, three, two, four, three. There will be a tab, so you can grab the tab. Maybe that'll help. But one more time slowly. And you can look at the tab along the screen here. That's five two actually. Five two one two. Pull off. So that whole lick one more time. All right. So here we go. Medium, very medium, slowish tempo. that'll work for your kickoff and now you now you can do it so when you're wandering the halls at like Spigma up in Nashville or if you're at a bluegrass festival and you're in the parking lot and somebody calls Lonesome Pine now you'll be able to do it all right see you next time <laughs> bye y'all Where the foxes are down and the hills are roaming, lonesome pine.